So he took a photo of Larry and Void, but because Spargo is eating, we FaceTime Spargo to take that top three photo. Wow. So uh, we're going to post the top three photo on Twitter. You guys will get a better idea of what we're talking about <laughs> if you find the Twitter. Because, like, literally, if we say it to you guys, you will not understand what we're talking about. Yeah. But, yeah, look out for the 2GD Twitter. You'll understand later. Right. Oh, my God. You guys are Are ridiculous. they doing the whole mod check? Bro. Mods. Mods. Nah, I'm kidding. Let them spam. This is great. I'm glad everyone's having fun watching the first MSM back. Yeah. It's going to be weekly again. If you're so. not spamming Among Us, tell us in the chat where you're from. That's always fun. I, I like seeing I like to see where people some are guy, from. Some I, guy I, watching this stream from Siberia. That's always interesting. Oh, dude, shout out to you if you're watching from Siberia. Vegas, NorCal. Oh, dang. Oh, you guys are popping off. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Back to the match. Back to the match. Back to the match. Back to the match. Mary versus Void. This is literally a classic. I'll give a, go over the brief history. Larry went to Hawaii and fought Void in Hawaii when he was still a Hawaii player. And they've been playing ever since. Yes. That's the short story. Void moved to Void moved from Hawaii. He got picked up, uh, was part of 2GG. Yes. Picked up by CLG. And then both players became in a constant battle for that first place. Exactly. Going back and forth between each spot. They were even in sets throughout Smash 4 for yeah. a very long time. For a very, very long time. So now they're fighting in Ultimate. Smash 4 Fox versus Smash 4 Sheik. And man, that was an era. And we are not going to see Larry's Ultimate Fox. I'm just going to oh, let God. you know it right now. That, that ship has sailed. Wolf and Falco. You know what Larry told me about that? He said that's Light's struggle now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Light's struggle. Yeah, yeah. Light has asked, inherited Fox from Larry. I asked, I asked Larry, why don't you make Fox anymore? He said that's Light's struggle, not mine. And I was like, all right. Anyway, Larry's up a stock, looking really good, living this forward smash as well. Nope, no two frame on the Wolf Flash. It's kind of not super hard to hit that, uh, hit Wolf's Wolf Flash. You just have to avoid getting hit by the hitbox itself, but most of the time it doesn't snap the wedge. So uh, it's definitely possible to hit him out of that. Still though, Larry looking good on this stock, staying alive until he died to that move. <laughs> I cursed Larry, it happens. Larry's chat curses you, man. I see, I see them. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> anyway, all right. Well, let's see for Larry though. We want to see him get basically get uncursed from Strides, man. He is up a whole stock against Void 92 on Void. Okay. Wood with the he's classic combo. He caught the double jump yep. and, and the air dodge in, and he's got him off the ledge, stage. But no Ooh, punish. No punish from Void. Yeah. Oh, yeah, missing, for, a, missing good, a fair bouncing fish. And that's good for Larry, because he saves that jump, gets back on the stage, gets that up smash punish into Void, and now he's got control. He's got to watch the spacing here on Void when he goes for the bouncing fish, where he will land, or how Void will come back. And you can see Larry. Oh, another go. dude. He'll Larry's gotten like three, two up smash kills right now. And he'll let go of that center stage a little bit of control to lure, to lure Void into that up smash. Larry knows that play. Okay. Drag down, makes up the DI from Void, or sorry, from Larry again. A lot of people have actually been mixing up their DI on Void's drag down combos, which has been really good for the other players because they're not getting comboed through ridiculous percent or just dying. Oh. Larry went for something insane, and, and it's he not gonna work. Too he's got a, he had an extra stock to work with it here, and Larry kind of slowed Void barely pressed no buttons. He just drifted a little bit to the right, <laughs> and then drifted to the left, and, and Larry killed himself. <laughs> He had an extra stock to do it here, but hopefully that won't be not to Larry's demise. Because I mean, Void can't make that back with a couple combos. I don't, I don't know if I ever want to give Void a free stock. Oh, you never do. You never do. There's well, we'll a reason see, why we'll it's see. called Void Combo. There's a reason. Oh, he almost <laughs> footstooled this man. He almost I thought he was going to down here yeah. spike him, honestly. Uh, it's possible. He can kill really early. Okay. He has the needles on deck here, too. Sneaks in. Okay, no. No needle bouncing fish there. Tries to go for a tech chase, but yeah, Larry's playing... Really well around uh, potential kill setups from Void here. And he can afford to play safe because a lot of his moves will kill. And Void has to kind of take some risk here. No up smash this time. No drag down attempt. I think Void's not confident in going for it because he's been missing it a lot today. Yeah. Tech chase? You, nope. you, and you talked about it earlier, too, Strange. You don't want to get... Oh, oh, third up smash. Right off from the cross up, too. Three up smash. Three up smashes. Yeah. Uh, Void actually fell for his own trick because if you saw earlier... He was fighting someone that tried to cross up his shield with an aerial, and he up smashed him out of shield. And he tried to do the same thing to Larry, but then Larry also up smashed him out of shield. Yeah. 
The crazy thing is there are a lot of snakes here, of course, to the first MSMW. This is top three. But also, Larry and Void, good friends, man. Good yeah. friends. You I know, honestly they're... think they're, like, having a lot of fun just playing each other offline again. In oh, yeah. In tournaments. In of course, I'm not saying, like, they're not taking this seriously because they definitely are. Yeah. But... Yeah, it's just interesting to see like two good friends fight each other in like a competitive competitive environment. This is this is what this is the day they have been waiting for, man. Back back at it again, another Monday night in the office together again here and for grand finals against Fargo. Uh, let's see. Uh, I haven't actually seen Void play on this stage uh, much today. Might be the first time. But uh, yeah, let's see what he can do on Town and City. Maybe like some interesting platform extensions with Sheik here. I know for like a lot of portion of this stage when like the platforms go away, it's just like FD. And uh, that is a stage that Void really prefers to play a lot of times. So, let's see what happens here. Okay, so yeah. far Void will not fall to those four Yeah, smashes. do something about these four smashes, I dare you. That's basically what Larry was saying there. Yeah, but it is, remember, Wolf Moose shifts his hurt box back. There's a lot of things that Larry can do up against in that situation. Yeah, that's actually the funny part. Outside of it being safe on shield most of the time, his hurt box but shifts a little bit. Exactly. So I'll go to Larry. Get away from that bouncing fish. It goes from the direction of air oh, dodge. No near bouncing oh, fish. Oh, I think that was a miss in because I saw him hold jab after that. But drag down. Ooh. What a, what a nice. kill from Void. The classic there. The down smash to finish it off. Oh, but who cares? Let me just kick you in the face. Or even again. Oh. Nope, no combo here from Void. Larry's gonna retreat back to center stage. There's the crouch dealing with the laser. And now Void is remembering that down tilt is a very good move. Okay. Uh, nope, Larry's actually very smart, not uh, double jumping early off stage in that situation. So he didn't get back right out of a jump or something like that. Oh. Oh, hit him out of the uh, grenade there. Nice. I really, like the, I really like the retreating nares from Larry. Yeah, he wants to make sure he... Like, that was what we saw him with the third up smash, too. He likes to slowly move back towards that stage, center stage to close oh. the control, but also lure wow. Void in. Void there with the bouncy fish will take the stock. 88% from here on oh. Void. Larry fresh off the stock, though. His last one, that is going to be that up throw. What a change up from Larry, because he wants to either an upper or a backer at that ceiling. Let's not forget, though, Town and City with the oh. higher blast ceiling. That oh, we're living, though. Great DI. Wow. Because of the higher blast ceiling here, Void will also survive with great DI in tow. Wow, parry the first hit this time. I think Larry's getting a little bit too thirsty for that up smash. Maybe Void has uh, figured out a little bit of things. Oh, okay. Void, Void knows who the MVP from Game 1 is now. At this point. Yeah. And I saw him mashing that up tilt, too. I don't think Void's going to run into that easily. I know it will kill, though. But yeah, I see Void with punching it pretty well. And the up smash too. Larry mashing a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Well, you know, he's the top player, right? You have to give him the benefit of that. That's calculated it, it mashing. Worked. That's calculated mashing. Top players get the calculated mashing, okay? So that was a calculated up smash is what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. He's the top player. Oh, hold you on. Have to say that. Hold on the platform. Okay, Larry sneaks in and up there. No grab though. Unfortunate for him. Missing a chance for a easy like 30-40%. Oh, hold on. Hold on, there's another back there. Right. Boy's gonna go low. Ooh! Ooh. Down smash there, not enough there. Larry getting back towards the stage, slowly needles. I like that from Void. He runs in, oh. holds the shield, punishes Larry. Drag down! Ooh. Die. Smash! Great Void taking the of the platforms. Taking the last stock how he took the first one. Yeah. That was actually really good use of Town and City there. Uh, I don't know, like, it's just it's just much better to go for that drag down down smash instead of something uh, harder like uh, drag down up smash or maybe even the four smash even because I think the down smash might have a little bit more active frames and it's yeah. still very strong so the down smash did receive a buff as well yeah. alongside with four smash so two moves the good knockback yeah that was actually great great use of the counter mix from Boyd now we're going 1-1 honestly I would not be surprised to see this be like a game five like super close set what are they doing? What is Void doing? <laughs> He's rock, paper, scissoring in the chat. If you chose rock three times against Void and you were in chat, you won. What's the fourth choice? Bro, paper. they're not even playing rock, paper, scissors. They're still spamming Among Us. Like, they don't... <laughs> Void's playing rock, paper, scissors with no one right now. Also, I, chat, shouldn't, I shouldn't have said Among Us because now if they oh, weren't no, spamming they're going to spam it again? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you brought it back. Yeah, that was my fault. Sorry. 
All right. Going in to game number three, back on Pokemon Stadium 2. Nice. Oh, caught the double jump here? Nope, no Needle Snipe. Oh, good from Larry, though. Doesn't go for that low recovery, because he would have been. Needle Snipe would have happened. Yeah, Needle, Bouncy Fish might have been a factor at that point. Oh, I thought that was going to be another Oh, good empty shield, from Larry. The back throw, too. Not to stop there, but we'll set up for an edge guard yet again here. All right, Larry looking to still hold on to oh. the ledge. What a way to come back with a dash attack. He doesn't want to give him center for free. Dang, only took 66 too. Basically just really strong like ledge trapping from Larry that we're yeah. used to seeing. But I always have to bring it up just because it's so effective from him. Oh, oh. Uh, no. No, he's, okay, he's, he's, good, he's good. He's good. fine. He went for a regular air dodge. If he went for a directional one, that would have had too much lag. Down throw, dash attack. Another one, he's fine with the trade. That's 49 on Sheik. And Wolf with the slight rage, he can kill Sheik pretty soon. Okay. Sneaks in the Nair. Oh! Big damage. 84%. Sorry, 85%. But. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't, Boy's kind of scrambling to get a reversal here to take the stock. And there it is. It works at least once a set. The vanish from ledge. He had to pull it out just to take that stock. 108, though. Yeah, Boy has to approach a lot more, take a few more risks just so he can bring this back. And it's kind of hard to do with that against Wolf because he's so strong. Like, any misplay on Void it just can lead to a stock. Oh. But, yeah, That's what I like it from Larry, though. We see through those Wolf fires because yeah. he knows I cannot go low against him with Void. He has those needles set up, so he's been changing that angle every time. Great parry. Oh, bad. Trade for a void there. Good. Go for the blaster here. Sets up void for that kind of recovery options. Oh, those far tilts not enough. When he inches his way back in towards center stage. And he slips through Larry's fingers here. The far oh, tilt will catch I, the landing. Yeah, he missed input it there. I saw him like buffer a turnaround uh, non intentionally, charge the needles. And uh, that was enough lag for Larry to punish that. And uh, okay, oh. no, I thought maybe enough smash was coming from the needles, but we didn't see it yet. Cross up though, and the down smash sends him out instead of towards the stage. A lot of people will get forget that Sheik's support smash can actually cross up. Yeah, and Boyd takes advantage of that all the time until he air oh, dodges down no. and SDs. Oh no! A little bit too low here, and unfortunate for what he will SD here, giving that Larry the two one. Ooh, dang, that's rough. You don't want to see it go down to an SD like that, especially because I feel like Boyd is kind of building a little bit of momentum there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're laughing about it. Like, and that's what you want to see, right? There is, there are some mistakes here, but you know what? Have a good time. That's the beauty about MSM offline. This is all in good fun and good time. Yeah, and we still see some people too, like in the in the spectator. And I know, like, and I know the camera angles. You can't really see them, but yeah, we still got some spectators here, man. You know, just like chilling with each other, talking about stuff in the in the crowd, or really just watching this really high level set between these two, like. It's like they're, both of these players are playing offline in a tournament for the first time today in like yeah. a year plus. And if you guys have been oh. watching both of these players on their perspective Hold on. streams. Sorry. We got oh, one yeah. wing oh, angel. Oh, finally, finally. And Larry's Falco. The agenda is real, guys. Is this, is this Void's counterpick? It is. So Void's trying to channel stuff around. For those of you guys wondering, back at home here in SoCal, we have swapped out Kalos for this stage. Yes. I think this is the only region that has this stage legal in yeah. the tournament right now. Oh, but also and I'm not complaining because this yeah. song is amazing. Also, uh, yeah, that's that's about it. <laughs> I love this song. It's, but, the best, uh, it's one of the best versions of One Wing and Angel. Yeah, from the, the original. Children. Yeah, yeah, no, from Advent Children. Oh, is this the Advent Children one? Yeah, you can see how you're really here now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Larry's Falco makes an uh, appearance here in this set, even though he won the last game. I guess he really likes Falco on this stage. He likes and, uh, to redeem the Falco agenda card. He has, he has to do it one second. Yeah, and I'm glad because now we can use that Falco in the thumbnail. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> you just got us a good, like, $100 there. Appreciate you. And uh, Larry actually has played this matchup. Oh, what a drag down there and then get the back throw on one for the mix-up? Yeah. Larry actually has a lot of experience playing Void with his Falco. They do kind of grind offline occasionally, but not a lot. 
Oh, big bear out of shield, very yep. strong. And when you see Larry grind out against Wood, they did play off on his stream yep. here, offline. You can check it on his uh, YouTube channel, by the way. Yeah, There's definitely a video. check it out on Larry's stream as well, twitch.tv forward slash Larry Lur. Whenever he goes live here. Wood gets the bouncing fish before Larry gets the fire, Falco. Nice, nice. Yeah, Void actually was really good at edge guarding fire, uh, fire bird and <laughs> firefox in the previous game, so... Not surprised to see him able to snipe that bouncing fish on Larry's recovery. I hope Larry does not recover low with Falco at any point in this match because Voy is very good at down airing that. Oh, what a corner carry here all the way across the oh. stage, man. Take this man around. Okay, combo here for Larry. Nope, committing to that double up tilt. Up throw. Up throw back air. No, goes for oh. the up air here. He knows the combos and when it'll work, but he goes for those up airs for the juggles. Oh. Nice clank for Void, but he's still at the ledge here. I guess Knocked a seventh hit. Jump. Yeah, gets a seventh hit from the floater. Oh. You have to fast forward. Larry with control here. Almost gets oh. the down air near. Air. He's going to go for an air. Oh, yeah, even air. better with the forward air. Strong edge guard from Larry. And now two stocks up to one. Void's got to make something happen on his counter pick here. I don't oh. know what's going on. He's literally channeling the Sephiroth boss music on his counter pick. And the meteor's off the crash. That was good, too. He burns the double jump oh. there to avoid any potential bouncing fish, but also any aerial from Void at the same time. All right, yeah, Void's fishing for, like, a near bouncing fish at the ledge here, too. But the oh. needle bouncing fish, just enough. The window in which that works is so large that, like, it blows my mind. Like, it, he's at such a high percent, he can still combo that. Speaking of combos, yeah. the in here. across the stage here, but oh, he goes back for matter. the finisher, the Void. Extension. Okay, Larry fights back with the forward of his own, though. Sneaks in the illusion. Nope, no big uh, continuation on the combo there either. Yeah, Larry landing on the stage here. Goes for a couple lasers. Good for him to go for that. Oh. Reflector, you can stun Sheik for the oh. aerial. Tech Chase, no, not going to find it. But there's the needles there. Coming in clutch, very safe on shield. And Void sneaking in a lot of really Ooh. good hitboxes. Void, can he's on it though. He's got him at 102. Oh. Can Tech he get Chase? the finish? Oh, no, doesn't find it. Smash. Another opportunity. No, still doesn't find it. Larry knows. I got to hold the center stage here. I got to come back. Cannot go to the Perry. edge. No, oh, up smash. Okay, Larry sneaks in the back air. Is he going to go low? Void gets the hit, but Larry gets an even better down air. Oh, oh the up smash. What a catch. Larry saves the up smash for the last stock, catching the roll Woo. on stage. That up smash buff coming in clutch, and the bird brings Larry to the grand finals rematch against Bargo. Man, what a, man, even what a one winged angel wasn't enough.